It's box to box with racing Louisville defender Gemma Bonner. Absolutely buzzing after England's win, I'm sure, over Germany. Yep. Gemma, uh, first and foremost, tell people where you're from. I'm from England, obviously, but in Leeds, which is quite far up north. Um, not many people know where it's from, but if you're from there, you're definitely proud to be from there. There you go. Shout out West Yorkshire. Uh, big time. Uh, Leeds United fan growing up, correct? Yep. Okay. Um, alongside Liverpool, I have to admit. Okay, um, okay. Being from Leeds, obviously, huge sport in City. Yeah. Um, and they're back in the Premiership. So. There you go. It's a yeah. great time to be a Leeds yep. fan. And there's a Leeds United player in the England squad. Yes, that's even better. Yeah. In the starting 11, no less. 11, yeah. That's big time. Um, who is your favorite player to watch and try to mimic and play like when you were growing up? When I was growing up, it was probably Carlos Puyol. Okay. Um, I just loved the way he played, and he was a big, obviously strong defender. Yeah. Um, but he's got goals as well. So. Yeah, and crazy hair. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hopefully I didn't have that. <laughs> no, you have not taken that on. Um, tell me a little bit about your soccer influence at home, at school, wherever else you got it. Who was a big influence to get you to start playing and keep playing? Yeah, I mean, I always played. My parents said ever since I could walk, I was having a ball around. Um, but my parents supported me every step of the way. Um, I know it's cliche to say that I wouldn't be here without them, but the amount of miles that my dad used to drive me when I was younger, um, and my mum would, she would always provide everything would be ready. Getting from school, the food was on the table, and I'd have a pack up if I was traveling, and for them to like support me like that, mm -hmm. I'm super grateful, and um, yeah, I, I have to say them. It's obviously paid off, you're doing yeah, fine. <laughs> I just need them to come out and visit me. There hopefully. you go, yeah, exactly. So obviously, uh, you're new to the United States. What's your absolute favorite American food so far? Oh, um, I'm loving the Boom Chicka Pop. I have to say that. <laughs> um, and you can get huge bags from Costco, but don't tell Brie. <laughs> okay, we won't say that. Um, what's your number one English food that you're missing right now? I have to say Nando's. Nando's, okay. And we were in Chicago last week, but there was no time to go, so I was slightly <laughs> disappointed. Okay. Um, with the rain delay and everything, but yeah, Nando's is probably, probably one thing that I probably miss, yeah. All right, last two then. These are going to be about your teammates, okay? Yeah. First and foremost, you can win $100,000 if you pick one teammate of yours to be late to something. Who would you pick? Um, I'd probably say Mish. Okay. Because she'll be, she'll be busy patching herself up somewhere. <laughs> That's her nickname, Patches, yeah. right? Yeah. She'll be doing something. She'll be getting something warm. She'll be doing something or putting a patch on somewhere. <laughs> All right, last one. Uh, you're in a singing competition. I know those are famous in England too. On television, it's you and one teammate. Who are you bringing to ensure that you get deep into the competition? Ooh. Um, I reckon maybe Taylor could have a, okay. a quiet, unknown voice. I've heard that she's a good singer. Yeah, I mean, she's quite bubbly, she's outgoing, and mm -hmm. that suits all the characteristics, right? Yeah. yeah. You gotta be an entertainer. Exactly. All right, well, there you go. Gemma Bonner, that's Box to Box. See you next time.